Three-fifths of the, of the senators duly chosen and sworn having voted in the affirmative. Saturday night's motion to proceed the health reform bill gave hope to Democrats with a majority vote, 60 to 39, in the Senate. This bill is a good deal for America. But it's still one hurdle of many in the race for health reform. The road ahead is a long stretch, but we can see the finish line. They come before us in criticism of what we've done and yet they cannot produce a bill. And while legislators continue their heated debate on Capitol Hill, some Americans fear this bill may do more harm than good. It's too huge of a program. There's going to be a lot of waste, fraud, and mismanagement. So how are you doing? How were you since the last time I saw you? Oh my God. Dr. Carl Petrie, a native Canadian and founder of the American Health and Wellness Center, moved to the U.S. for its lucrative health care system. Obviously, you know, money's not everything. P practitioners want to help people, but I mean, the way the system is set up here, it is set up so that the practitioner can earn a living and, and do well for themselves while they're helping people. If I have a patient come in the door that needs you know, procedure done and I can just send them to get the procedure tomorrow, it's a lot more ideal than back home where it might take six months to get that same procedure. Although some Americans have sided for or against the health reform bill, others are still trying to make sense of the near 3,000 page bill that's up for debate in the Senate here on Capitol Hill. The bill is how many thousands of pages long, who has actually read that at one sitting? At the same time, I think the human factor needs to come into play here because how many times, you know, everyone will be quick to say, oh, no, I don't want to pay a lot of money. I don't want to do this. I don't want to pay any more money. But as soon as you hear a story about somebody that had to uh, die because they weren't able to get any care, you know, always somebody's heart goes out to that person. Reporting in Washington, Carrie Williams, Eagle Eye News.